It's 6 a.m. It is January 1st of 2021, a brand new year after what many people claim was the worst year ever. Uh, that's probably not the case. It was probably wasn't the worst year ever. It was maybe the worst year they lived through. Uh, but uh, now is an opportunity for a brand new year. And while most people stayed up all night and uh, maybe lit off fireworks and partied and kissed at the stroke of midnight, I got to bed before the stroke of midnight so that I could get up nice and early and enjoy a beautiful sunrise here in Las Vegas. This is actually the uh, ironically named Sunset Park that I'm in right now. And uh, it's really dark out here, but I'm using a, a low light camera. So hopefully you can see me just fine. Um, but this video, I wanna talk about New Year's resolutions. And a lot of my friends, I was asking them, <laughs> I was asking them if they were making any New Year's resolutions. And people said that they thought it was stupid. They thought it was a dumb thing to make New Year's resolutions. And that really kind of, I, I wouldn't say bothered me, um, but whenever somebody says something is, is dumb, uh, there's gotta be reasons behind that logic. So the, like, I've, I've got my opinions on a lot of things that I think are, are really stupid and a waste of time. Um, but New Year's resolutions, the idea of starting again and creating something new and having some goals, I think are wonderful. And so on this video, I'm going to talk about my New Year's resolutions uh, and maybe a little bit about why people think they're so stupid. But first, I need to jump back in my car because I am freezing to death. I think it's below 50 right now, and uh, I didn't dress appropriately for that. So I'm gonna hop back in my car. I still have like 30 minutes before the sun rises, and I'm capturing that uh, for you anyways. So let's warm up for a second. This is so much better. So why are New Year's resolutions a joke? New Year's resolutions are basically just goals. And goals shouldn't be a joke. Goals are super useful. In fact, they, they seem to make things work for most successful people. So I don't think it's the New Year's resolution that's funny. I don't think it's the, the fact that it's a goal that's funny. Uh, I think what it is is that most people fail when they set their New Year's resolutions. And I guess there's something funny in failure. People like to watch other people get hit in the crotch and, uh, and other weird the things like that, like watching people fall. It's not my thing, it's not my bag of tea, um, but that's what a lot of people are into. But when I think of failure, I think of people like like Walt Disney, who was fired as a, uh, was fired from a newspaper uh, because he lacked imagination. And then his first animation company went under, he failed at that. And the guy was surviving on dog food, at least that's what was reported at the time. I think of people like him, um, or Stephen King, who wrote the incredible book, Carrie. And he went to like 30 publishers, they all rejected him. And he ended up throwing it in the trash and his wife got it out of the trash and he kept going. He just kept persisting despite the idea that he didn't want to continue. Eminem, Eminem dropped out of high school, dealt with poverty issues and drug issues and failed at even committing suicide. Like failures all around us all the time. Don't get me started on Abraham Lincoln or Oprah. Uh, my, Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team. If you wanna find failure, the only place you need to look is at the most successful people. The most successful people have usually dealt with failure more than anybody else. Failure is probably a greater sign of success than the success itself. They all just had two things in common, that they had an initial intention that they stuck to. Initial intention is number one, sticking to it, number two. If you have those two things in place and you just don't give up, you stick to that initial intention, you don't give up, you keep iterating, eventually you're gonna succeed. And so New Year's seems to be a great opportunity to iterate. If you've had a goal that you're not willing to give up on and you're willing to strive through it and push on, persevere, maybe this is a great time to try a new approach on achieving that, that goal. This is my tradition. I like to come out and watch the sunrise. It hasn't risen yet, but um, it's on its way. And some traditions are absolutely stupid. Uh, gender reveal parties, I think are dumb and apparently they just light forest fires. That's, that's their thing, I guess. The running of the bulls, not a great tradition, not a good idea. Uh, blowing out uh, birthday candles on a cake in the era of COVID, uh, probably not the best way to keep everybody healthy. So there are traditions that I think are really, really dumb, but this tradition I think is wonderful. This tradition is all about starting over, creating something new, uh, iterating on what you did before. In Neil Strauss's book, The Game, he talks about 
they would use this video game mentality of every time they faced rejection, they just thought of it as hitting the reset button on a video game and starting that level over again. And I think that's a wonderful way of looking at life and getting over this blockage that we have, that if we fail once, we're gonna be viewed by everybody else as, as a failure forever. Failure is just gonna be a natural thing of it and you might as well push through it. So here's, here's my New Year's resolutions. Here's what I'm going to be focusing on. I'm gonna be focusing on creating a YouTube channel and I've got little sub goals within that. So like the first goal I've got is I need to get a thousand followers. And if you wanna help me out with that, hit the subscribe button because that's the first little milestone that I'm trying to get to. If I get a thousand followers and 4,000 hours of watch time, uh, I become eligible for a bunch of other things within YouTube. So that's gonna be the first goal and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try and control that by uh, every single week, I'm gonna be putting out two videos. They're all going to be based around living a life of greater freedom, greater liberty, uh, greater autonomy, personal autonomy. So it's all about taking control of your own life. So that's what the channel is going to be about. And I'm really, really excited about it. I'm all set up. I've got like the best camera gear. I've got a studio. I'm really, really thrilled about this. Uh, the second thing is something that I really have failed at forever. Um, but I'm going to try and get myself down to a weight that I really want to be at. So I'm going to try and lose about 50 pounds this year. And it shouldn't take me the whole year. Uh, not if I'm dropping like two pounds a week, which should be possible. Um, but it's going to take a lot of perseverance. And it's something that I've tried a lot of times before in a lot of different ways. And I've failed many, many, many times, uh, which makes me afraid of it. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely terrified. I'm going to try a couple of new things. There's some new fitness programs. And I'll probably go into those uh, throughout the YouTube journey um, but those are going to be some of the things that i'm going to be uh working on this year i've got some other things like um once i drop that weight i want to get a brand new wardrobe i dress like a slob you know uh, i've got old clothes because i'm embarrassed of going out there and buying clothes that are a bigger size than i want to buy and i don't really like the way i look right now so i'm going to work on that once i accomplish the first goal or the second goal of losing some weight i also want to increase my passive income uh, passive income is like the special income for me it's uh it it's the money that you earn while you sleep and so that's the best kind of money but it's also the hardest kind to find and so i'm fortunate enough to to have a, quite a bit of passive income in my life and i want to increase that by just five hundred dollars that's it it's not a lot of money um but uh but five hundred dollars of passive income um not per month just per year maybe per month wouldn't that be amazing if i could increase it by five hundred dollars per month that's what I'm setting it at. Let's do a goal that scares me a little bit. If the goal is so small that it doesn't scare you, then uh, then it's probably not worth making. So I'm gonna try and increase my passive income by $500 per month at some point during this year and make that a maintained ongoing thing. So I'll just have another $500 every month in my pocket uh, to give myself a little bit more freedom, a little bit more liberty. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing. So those are, those are gonna be my New Year's resolutions. You can hold me to them. Although they say you're not supposed to tell people your goals and the reason for that is when you tell somebody your goals it releases a little bit of dopamine in your brain a little bit of serotonin you get these endorphins and it basically makes you feel like you've accomplished that goal so oftentimes you don't go out and achieve the goal that you set because you told everybody what the plan was uh, on the other hand by telling people what the plan is it holds you accountable to achieving that plan so I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way, whether you should be telling people your goals or whether you shouldn't be. Uh, I think generally, you probably shouldn't tell people your goals. People generally achieve their goals better when they're a secret. Uh, and I'm sharing them because I think they're pertinent to this YouTube video that I'm creating, this channel, this new beginning. And, uh, and I want you to know what I'm trying to do. And because if I achieve those, when I achieve those, better frame of mind, when I achieve those, uh, I'll get to look back at this and, and think, wow, I set those right there and I knocked down those dominoes that I set up and that'll make me feel really, really proud. Um, and I look forward to that. So that's a nice little reward on that journey. So uh, the sun is about to uh, crest over that horizon and I wanna be there when it happens. So I'm gonna go take a look at that. One more thing is that I'm gonna be using some weird, innovative, different techniques on goal setting this year. For example, I'm gonna be using something called a 13 month calendar, which has been around for a long time, but is I think really underused. So I'm gonna be sharing that out. I'm gonna actually give out that calendar uh, that I've created 
And I'm gonna be putting that in some future videos around some goal setting techniques and strategies. And look at that sunrise, isn't that gorgeous? What an amazing time to be alive, isn't that beautiful? Okay, uh, so hopefully I will see you on the next video and I hope you have a wonderful new year.